A flip man took to Facebook to share these upsetting photos of his bruised and broken face. He says Flint police officers beat him up after he crashed his car into a tree. The social media post garnered a lot of attention, more than a thousand shares and hundreds of comments, many of them from community members angry with Flint police. New at 5, ABC 12 sat down with the man behind these posts and Flint's police chief and Perrette reports the incident is under investigation. We're just off Dort Highway on Robert T. Longway and Commerce Street. This is where Chief Terrence Green says officers responded around 4 Sunday morning for a car crashed into a tree. D'Angelo Bowman is believed to have driven into it while drunk. What happened next is where there's some disagreement. I'm angry, I'm mad, hurt, sad. I'm like, it's surreal for real. These are images D'Angelo Bowman shared on social media just hours after he got home from the hospital and county jail Sunday afternoon. He has cuts to his head and face, a fractured nose, taser burns, a busted lip, and you can see he can barely open his eyes. Any person in their right mind know if you claim you pull up on an accident, the first thing you're supposed to do is call an ambulance, like call the paramedics. But instead, Bowman says the officers pulled him out of the car and beat him up. The Flint police chief says Bowman's injuries are from the crash and from resisting arrest. Chief Green says when officers arrived, they found Bowman unconscious with injuries on his face and the car still in drive. Green says a drunk Bowman woke up as officers were pulling him from the car and he fought back. He became combative. They finally get him out of the vehicle attempted to handcuff him. Um, he continued to str struggle and be combative and resist officers. Chief Green says when Bowman kept fighting, officers used pepper spray. When that didn't work, they tased him, handcuffed him, and put Bowman into the police car. He was taken to Hurley Medical Center, and so was an officer. Chief Green says in the struggle, Bowman bit an officer. When we sat down with Bowman today, he admitted he was driving drunk Sunday, but isn't so sure about crashing into the tree, biting the officer, or resisting arrest. Nothing is wrong with my car. No airbags deployed. I don't even have to go to no shop to get my car looked at. He thinks the officers, who are both white, used excessive and unnecessary force. I want to see them being held accountable for what they did. It's simple. I want to see that Black Lives Matter. I want to see that we have a spot somewhere. I want to see that we get justice. Chief Green says his officers did nothing wrong. I had um, the supervi initial supervisors review it, lieutenants, captain, um, assistant chief, internal affairs, and then finally me. They report the findings to me. I also review all the documents. I review myself the incident report. Um, to um, see if there's any, if there are any that I felt was any violation of policy and procedures. And at this point, no. There is dash cam footage and audio. The chief hasn't seen it himself, but is told the footage doesn't capture everything because of how the officer's vehicles were positioned. But um, reviewing those by our internal investigation um, unit, there, there's nothing to contradict what the officers wrote in their original reports. ABC 12 has asked for that dash cam footage multiple times, but the chief has denied our requests, saying the matter is... Bowman filed his own police complaint today. I'm waiting to hear from the prosecutor if any criminal charges will be filed against him for this incident. In Flint, I'm Ann Perrette, ABC 12 News. D'Angelo Bowman says this incident is one of many reasons why Flint police need body cameras because without the dash cam footage showing exactly what happened, it's his word against multiple officers. Chief Green agrees body cameras are necessary. He's going to look at how an already financially strapped city can get the technology for their police department. The president of Black Lives Matter Flint chapter on hand today offering support to Bowman, but also stressing the importance of accountability for police incidents like this one. The police are not really credible at these times, so um, we don't go for just what's being said in a report or just because officials said this is what happened. Um, we're going to do our own community investigation, and that's what this is about, um, to seek the truth. The initial police report in the George Floyd case was said that Floyd was given medical attention after he was in distress. It did include information that police officers held their knee on his neck while restraining him for more than eight minutes. The initial police report following Breonna Taylor's death listed her injuries as none. Taylor died after being shot by police inside her apartment. 
Robinson says BLM supports officers wearing body cameras and is also calling for the release of the dash cam video in the Bowman incident.